Maybe it's kind of like oh. a fish and chips thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? we've got some people who really, I mean, I have tried it. You remind me of the fish and chips. Yeah, with malt, malt vinegar. vinegar. It's divine. It is good. But I haven't had it in years. Yeah, and it's not really that big over here, I don't think. I don't think I've ever tried vinegar that. Vinegar thing. Oh, you would love it. No. Yeah. Yeah. If you like sour, you know? A little bit. Yeah. We're going to have to try that. Oh, it's good. We have to try a lot of things. I'd love that. <laughs> at 551. Still to come, he rides at night because he sleeps all day. But is he willing to change that? <laughs> Kid Rock says he's looking at getting a day job. Oh, gosh. Plus, we all hate. Set up against President. Here's Vanessa. All right, thank you, Tram. So we are still focusing on this B-line closure. Earlier this morning, a fatal accident took place causing a closure on the SR-87 heading northbound. It's closed between Gilbert Road and Shea Boulevard, and it's expected to be closed all morning long because they are still doing their investigation because two people are dead and three are in critical condition. So your best bet to get around this closure is go to the 101 northbound to Shea Boulevard, then from Shea Boulevard head eastbound to the SR-87 to get back on that freeway and the B-Line freeway there. So that's your best bet. I will keep you updated. Brian West is live on the scene as well to give us more details as they come along. So make sure you stay here to keep um, to get all the information. But for the rest of the Valley, the East Valley looks good. We have green all over the place. The 51 looks good in both directions. Same thing with the 17. We do have a little bit of slowing on Grand in the Peoria area, but the 10 heading eastbound has not started to slow down yet. So that's really good news. But I'm going to go ahead and give you some travel times in case you're getting ready to head out in the next few minutes. So if you're going to 75th Avenue is going to take you two minutes. 51st Avenue is going to take you six. The stack's going to take you nine. And then 7th Street's going to take you 12 minutes. So things are moving along well on that freeway. Of course, we'll keep you updated about that closure this morning. And Jim